to hear David Sachs tell it. The November 2019 election of San Francisco District Attorney Chase Bodine marked a new era of criminality in the city. It has an impact on me and my family because I have to worry about our safety all the time, the co-founder of venture capital firm Kraft Ventures it. This was just a few years ago. Now there are large parts of the city where people are afraid to go. Really no part of the city is safe. That's the whole impact. I see lots of people in the tech community moving away. Bodine, a progressive district attorney who ran on a platform of decarceration and ending cash bail, has become a lightning rod for political conservatives like Sachs. The roster of those who support Bodine's upcoming recall, either financially or in public arguments on social media, podcasts and the like, includes not only Sachs but other wealthy investors, from Shamath Paley Apatee and Mark Anderson. Some of Budan's most outspoken adversaries and supporters don't live in the city of San Francisco, in which Budan prosecutes crimes, and aren't directly affected by his policies. They include the likes of Jason Kalkinas, an entrepreneur and one of the co-hosts of Sax All In Podcast, and Patty Quillen, a philanthropist, political donor, and wife of billionaire Netflix CEO Reed Hastings. Last January, Calcanus began a GoFundMe campaign with the goal of hiring a journalist to hold the DA of SF accountable to the people of SF. To date, his efforts raised nearly $60.000 to hire a local reporter to write articles on Substack that targets Bodine. Calcanus himself has not donated towards the Bodine recall.